Hello students, welcome back to the online classes. Uh, today I am going to take the poem 10, The Tale of Custard the Dragon. Okay? Uh, it's written by Ogden Nash. Okay? It's written by Ogden Nash. The central idea of the poem is this. Uh, the Tale of Custard the Dragon is a funny poem that tells the story of the girl, of the little girl, Belinda and her pets. Belinda lives with her little pets, a kitten, a mouse, a dog and a dragon in her little house. Belinda and all her pets ex except the dragon have been described as very brave creatures. But the dragon is such a coward that it is always looking for the safety in a cage. The dragon, however, surprised everyone with his heroic act of killing a pirate who had come to Belinda's house and meant harm to her and her pets. The poet has tried to convey a message in this simple poem Never judge a book by its cover. Dragon, who is generally meek and coward, shows his bravery at the right moment and saves everyone from the pirate. So this is just a simple <coughs> poem where the girl Belinda having uh, her own pets in that this dragon, Custard the dragon, who is a bit uh, you know, frightened, who is a bit uh, slow in working and all those things. So he always looks for the safety in the cage or you know, he, does, he runs away. But one day he shows his courage by protecting his friends as well as Belinda from the pirate. So let us go through the uh, stanzas. I will read stanza one by one and give the explanation of it. The stanza one. Belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and little grey mouse and a little yellow dog and little red wagon and a really uh, trillio little pet dragon. The poem opens with introducing the characters of the poem namely Belinda, a little girl who lived in a little white house with her pets and a wagon. Her pets include a black kitten, a little grey mouse, a little yellow dog and a little dragon. Stanza 2 Now the name of the little black kitten was Ink and the little grey mouse she called her Blink and the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard but the dragon was a coward and she called him Custard. So, <clears throat> Belinda had named her little black kitten as Ink and her little grey mouse was called Blink. The colour of her dog was as sharp and yellow as mustard and her dragon was called Custard. Here, the readers are introduced to the cowardice uh, of Custard as he was not brave and feared a lot. Stanza 3 Custard the dragon had big sharp teeth and spikes on top of him and scales underneath. Mouth like a fireplace, chimney of for a nose and rillo trillo daggers on his toes. The description of Custer's physical appearance seems quite surprising to the readers as it has been shown as carrying all the features of a dragon that makes dragons powerful, scary and brave. If it has big sharp teeth and spikes on its back that could easily scare anyone away, Custer also has the ability to spit fire which makes its mouth look like a fireplace showing his power and his nose becomes the chimney 
through which the smoke comes out from the fire in his mouth. Custard's toes are so pointed and sharp that they could cut anything like a dagger. Stanza 4 Belinda was, a, was as brave as a barrel full of bears, and ink and blink chased lions down the stairs. Mustard was as brave as a tiger in a rage, but Custard cried for a nice safe cage. All the members of the house except Custard are very brave. Belinda's bravery has been compared to the bravery of many bears combined together. Ink and Blink, despite being so small in size, have the power to scare and chase away someone as strong as a lion. Her dog's bravery has been compared to that of a tiger's anger. But Custard is completely opposite to his physical description and instead of being brave, always looks for a nice, safe cage. Stanza 5 Belinda tickled him. She tickled him unmerciful. Ink, blink and mustard. They rudely called him per uh, Percival. They all sat laughing in the little red wagon at the realio, trulio, cowardly dragon. Belinda used to tickle the dragon without stopping and she did it quite cruelly to make it laugh. It should be noted here that ticking, tickling is a very soft touch on body and it is related to softness. Since the dragon was such a coward, tickling worked on him. It does not work on rough bodies, hence it's another proof of the dragon's softness. It was rudely named as Percival by ink, blink and mustard. Seeing the dragon react to the tickling made all of them laugh and they laughed sitting in the wagon of at the cowardly dragon. Stanza 6 Belinda giggled till she shook the house, and Blink said we, which is giggling for a mouse. Ink and Mustard rudely asked his age, when Custard cried for a nice safe cage. Belinda laughed a lot at the dragon. She laughed so hard that it seemed that the house is shaking due to her laughing. Blink. The mouse used to say weak, which is the giggling sound for mouse. Ink and mustard asked dragon's age to make fun of him as it shows that the dragon behaved like a small kid would do but he was not a small kid. Custard just wanted a nice safe cage for himself. Stanza 7 Suddenly, suddenly, they heard a nasty sound, and Mustard growled, and they all looked around. Mioc cried Ink, and O cried Belinda, for there was a pirate climbing in the window. While all of them were busy making fun of the dragon, there came a very unpleasant sound from the house. Mustard, the dog, looked around growling for the source of that sound. Ink cried meow and Belinda cried ho oh, when they saw that there was a pirate climbing the window of the house to loot it. Stanza 8 Pistol in his left hand, pistol in his right, and he held in his teeth a cutlass bright. His beard was black, one leg was wood, it was clear that the pirate meant no good. The appearance of the pirate seemed very dangerous as he was carrying many arms with him. He had a pistol in both hands and he was carrying a bright sharp plate between his teeth as well. 
he had a black beard and a wooden leg indicating that he was a tough man who must have lost his leg in some fight or battle his looks made it very clear to the housemates that the pirate meant to harm the people and pets living there stanza 9 belinda paled and she cried help help but mustard fled with a terrified yelp ink trickled down to the bottom of the household and little mouse blinked strategically mouse hole looking at the pirate belinda became pale and with fear and cried for help all her brave pets could not help her and everyone fled from the scene mustard made a huge cry and ran away ink silently went to the bottom of the house and blink very smartly disappeared in a mouse hole leaving belinda all alone in front of the pirate their bravery could not do them any good sansa 10 but up jumped custard smorting snorting like an engine clashed his tail like irons in a dungeon with a clatter and a clang and a jingling squirrel he went at the pirate like a robin at a worm when everyone fled on seeing a seeing the pirate it was a coward dragon custard who came to rescue and fought the pirate bravely he jumped in front of the pirate and made large noises through his nose like an engine indicating his anger he started to move his tail and it made clattering sounds like an iron and striking the walls of a prison in a dungeon with all these dangerous sounds he followed the pirate like a robin follows a worm a worm to eat it stands 11 the pirate grabbed at belinda's dragon and and gulp some grog from his pocket flagon he fired two bullets but they didn't hit and custard gobbled him every bit custard shot the pirate and he took a good look at him and drank some wine from a bottle that he carried in his pocket the pirate then took out his pistol and fired the two bullets at custard but he failed to hit him and custard remained unharmed then custard swallowed the whole of the pirate without leaving any trace of him sansa 12 Belinda embraced him mustard licked him no one mourned for his pirate victim ink and blink in glee did gyrate uh, around the dragon that ate the pirate after the custard ate the pirate to everyone's surprise there was joy all over the house belinda embraced him to express gratitude for saving everyone mustard licked the dragon as that's how a dog show its love for someone everyone celebrated the death of the pirate and there was no grief ink and bling started dancing around the dragon out of happiness sansa 13 but presently up spoke little dog mustard I would have been twice as brave if I hadn't been flustered and up spoke ink and up spoke blink we would have been three times as brave we think and custard said I quite agree that everybody is braver than me it became very clear that who is brave and who is a coward after the pirate incident but mustard started to give excuses for his cowardice and said that he would have been twice as brave as custard if he had not got nervous when the pirate came ink and blink said that they would have been thrice as brave as the dragon they could not believe that custard the coward dragon had done such a heroic act and so they started giving excuses for running away 
the humble dragon accepted that he was the most coward and everyone was braver than him so dear friends never ever estimate a person's uh, courage or brave by his silence he can be more brave than us in the fourth today i will give the question answers do the question answers in your copy thank you stay home stay safe